As someone who's been into menswear and men's style very publicly for over a decade now, you might think that I've got the whole how to dress and what to wear with fill in the blank thing down. Now, in some cases, I'd say that's true. You know, give me a suit or sport coat and I can put some decent outfits together pretty quickly. But in other areas, uh, especially more casual styles of dressing, it often doesn't come that easy. And the place where I feel like I typically struggle the most is when it comes to styling leather jackets. I've often wondered why that is, and we're gonna explore that question, and I'm gonna show you how I'm styling five different leather jackets this winter, right after this. I'm Brian Sakawa, this is He Spoke Style, advice and inspiration to help you dress well, develop your personal style, and be more confident. So you know that one of the things I value most when it comes to building my wardrobe is versatility. And I feel like leather jackets often come across as something of a one-trick pony. Like, if you Google men's leather jacket outfits, what you see in the image results is, in general, basically all the same thing. You see a somewhat douchey looking guy in a leather biker jacket, wearing a t-shirt, two tight jeans, and some type of boot, and maybe he's got a beard, but, but not like mine. I guess what I'm trying to say is that as someone who admittedly struggles in the what to wear with a leather jacket department, there's not a whole lot of inspiration out there to draw from, and I'm at the age where that whole rock and roll look isn't really gonna work for me. Maybe you understand exactly where I'm coming from, or maybe not, but I decided to put this video together for three reasons. First, I wanted to do it as a styling exercise for myself. You know, if you, if you wanna get better at something, you practice. The second reason was to inspire those of you who might be in the same boat as me. And finally, was to help populate the internet with some leather jacket outfits for men that don't look like what you see when you do that Google image search. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you the five leather jackets I'll be styling and all their details, and, and then we'll get into the six different outfit ideas. But first, I do want to thank the Jacket Maker for sponsoring today's video and providing the leather jackets you're going to see. So if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I've worked with the Jacket Maker before. I think they produce a really great leather jacket for a fraction of the price that you would pay for something similar from a designer brand, and certainly much better than a cheap leather jacket you get from a fast fashion brand. The Jacket Maker uses the best possible raw materials in their jackets, really nice full grain natural leather, YKK hardware, and all lined with high grade polyester and viscose. So you're not just getting a good looking jacket, you're getting a quality good looking jacket. Sizing is very inclusive, which I love, and they have sizes ranging from extra small all the way up to 4XL, and they also offer a full made to measure option. I have not tried that. One note on sizing from my personal experience is that I would take the next size up from your normal size in a jacket from the Jacket Maker. Uh, the first time I ordered, I ordered mediums because that's my usual size. They were just too tight on me, so going up a size into a large made a huge difference. Recently, the Jacket Maker has also expanded into footwear with a brand called Eviternity. Uh, you'll see this pair of suede chukkas in the outfit section of the video. All footwear are made with full grain leather, Blake Stitch construction, and come in a wide range of standard sizes at a fair price. He Spoke Style viewers can save on any purchase from the Jacket Maker. All I've got to do is use code BRIAN10 to save 10%. You can check out the selection at thejacketmaker.com, and I'll also have links to the jackets and boots down below in the description. All right, outfits in a moment, but first, let's take a brief look at each of the five leather jackets I'll be styling. Up first is the Koffner. It's made with a goatskin leather with a suede finish. Inside, it's fully lined in faux fur, which makes it incredibly warm. A removable fur collar adds to its versatility. A two button closure on the cuff, zip up closure, two inside pockets and two outside pockets. Next is the Aaron G1 Bomber, which I have in both dark brown and black. It's a sheepskin leather with a semi aniline finish. There's a quilted inner lining, removable fur collar, rib knit cuff, zip up closure, two inside pockets, and two outside pockets with button closures. This is the Vaxton Varsity Jacket. Not a full leather jacket, but there are sheepskin leather sleeves along with a synthetic wool body. Now inside, we've got that quilted lining. It's a snap button closure up the front, striped rib knit cuffs, two inner pockets, and two outer pockets. And finally, we have the charcoal black suede biker jacket, goatskin leather with a suede finish, quilted inner lining, mandarin collar, zippers on the cuffs, 
And once again, we've got our two inside pockets and two outside pockets. Those are the jackets. Now let's put some outfits together. For outfit number one, now I would consider this the grown-up version of that men's leather jacket outfit ideas image search I've referenced. So just swap the t-shirt for an OCBD, go with jeans in a more classic fit, some nice suede chuckas, and then finishing it off with the Kaufner suede jacket with a shearling collar. I have always felt that one of the best ways to dress casually when you get a little older is to wear something or multiple things in a more luxe material like the suede you see here. It instantly elevates the look and gives the impression that you know exactly what you're doing, even if you don't. One of the things I learned after going through this leather jacket styling exercise is that you can basically pair a leather jacket with just about any normal outfit you put together, including tailored clothing, so long as it is the right leather jacket. What you get when you hit it just right is a little bit of an edge and I would say cool factor, for lack of a better term, uh, to something that could seem just a little plain without it. Take this look for example. I've got a classic and exceptionally warm fisherman sweater paired with some charcoal flannel trousers. Simple, doesn't rock the boat, but add the leather jacket and throw on some Chelsea boots for good measure. And suddenly there's a bit more je ne sais quoi to the whole thing. Here is a variation on the last theme, this time with a black G1 bomber jacket featuring a white shearling collar. I've really been feeling the darker grays and black thing the entire season in terms of color. It's easy, always looks good, and it gives you a sense of confidence and I'd say mystery too. Uh, it also makes it really easy to drop a leather jacket into the equation. Now what I really like about this particular combination is how it illustrates that you can wear, let's say, a more sophisticated outfit with a leather jacket. Rather than looking like it doesn't belong with a turtleneck, flannel trousers, and penny loafers, it adds a nice touch of sportiness and really changes the entire vibe. All right, I hear you. The only thing leather about this varsity jacket are the sleeves. Uh, that's enough for me though. Consider this one a bit of a palette cleanser as it really is the most generic of the six looks we've got here. Honestly, as much as I tried, nothing seemed more right than a simple and sporty styling with an athletic sweatshirt, light wash jeans, and good old white leather sneakers. Now, I'm open to suggestions though if you've got some other ideas of how to style a varsity jacket like this. Drop them down below in the comments. Now, one of the approaches I took when styling these leather jackets was to embrace aspects of the quiet luxury trend. Here, I've done that in two ways. First, the lighter color palette of the looks foundation. Now, I guess I don't really need to understand why, but for whatever reason, lighter colors almost always equate to a more luxurious look. It's a thing. And second, some more luxe fabrics cashmere cable knit crew neck sweater and some suede split toe derbies which tie into the color of the leather jacket quite nicely and really bring the whole outfit together. So there are people, maybe that's you, uh, who say that you can't wear black and brown together. Well, here's another thumb in the eye from me to those who insist that, much like oil and water, black and brown do not mix. I've said it before and I'll say it again, yes they do. Of course, you've got to take into account the shades of brown and this outfit works because one, there is a nice progression of light to mid-tone to dark and two, the sweater against the black suede bomber does an incredible job of drawing your eye upward and framing my face, which is one of the keys to any well put together outfit. All right, so now is the time for you to give me a grade on my leather jacket styling. But remember two things. First, that admittedly styling leather jackets doesn't come as easy to me, and second, that all of these outfits, with the exception of the varsity jacket, were an attempt to bring a little more sophistication to the styling. Oh, actually a third thing to remember too, HSS viewers can save 10% off any purchase from the jacket maker with code BRIAN10. Hop to the description to check out all the links, and big thanks to the jacket maker for sponsoring this video.